What's up, guys? It's your boy, DFS Jimmy, uh, bringing you Fanshare Sports course preview video for the week. Uh, we are at the Memorial. I uh, apologize. The video is going to be a bit short and uh, looks a little bit different this week. Uh, I've been really under the weather uh, the last few days and uh, trying to fight off a cold, but wanted to make sure I got some content out there for you guys today. Um, Mirfield Village, uh, it is a par 72 uh, just outside of Dublin, Ohio. Jack's Place, uh, awesome tournament, always a good time. Uh, difficult track, uh, bent grass greens, parkland style, lots of undulation, lots of elevation change, uh, generally very, very fast greens. Uh, you'll see that um, you know a lot of the scoring is going to take place on the par fives. Most of them are reachable by, by everybody in the field. Uh, the real meat of the golf course comes in the six par fours that are 450 yards or greater. Um, Difficult ball striking track. Um, you can't miss the fairway here, but the fairways are pretty generous. If you are, if you do miss the fairways, there's lots of water and sand that come into play. Uh, the rough is pretty brutal uh, around here, and you quite literally can't play this course, uh, you know, from the rough. Uh, you you have to be in the fairway. So uh, make sure you're uh, make sure you're not looking, you know, not choosing guys that spray it everywhere. But uh, it's, it's you'll see when we look at the. Of course, history, uh, you know, tidy drivers at the golf ball and even some of your bombers have quite a bit of success here just because the fairways are pretty generous. Uh, but that said, because they are generous, you pay pretty dearly for missing them. So uh, you'll notice that the front nine is much easier than the back nine. The back nine has a, a brutal closing stretch of holes on 16, 17, and 18. Uh, all play uh, very, very much over par. Uh, guys are going to you know, get off to hot starts and then bleed strokes back to the field. Usually makes for some exciting finishes here. Uh, always one of the better tournaments. Uh, it tends to be a, a tournament that, that brings weather into play as well, so make sure you, you stay up on the forecast this week. I haven't looked uh, uh, you know, haven't I've been kind of out of it the last couple of days with this cold, but uh, check the weather this week before your lineups lock. Um, when you look at the model and you look at course history, look at course history first. Uh, no surprise, a guy like Rory uh, up at the top, you know, uh, huge off of the tee and one of the best long iron players in the world. Um, you look at some of the rest of the guys in the you know this top uh, this top fifteen or or so grouping, and they all are great long iron ball strikers, and that's really what you have to have to find success here at Jack's Place. Um, is you got to have good long irons. Uh, they need to be consistent. They need to be consistent across four days, and you need to you need to just kind of get um, you know get yourself around uh, the track. Um, without too many bogeys uh, and a lot of that will be in putting uh, this week they're they're known for their fast greens here at Muirfield Village uh, Jack likes to have them dialed up really high uh, so uh, you'll notice that some of these guys aren't the best putters in the world but they found success here at this track uh, some of that has to do with proximity and just being able to consistently put yourself in the right positions uh, and right places on these greens a lot of small spots you got to hit around Muirfield uh, to, to get anywhere near a pin uh, and you really can't be on the wrong side of the pin uh, and expect to score here so um, yeah just uh, you, you know it's it's a long iron ball strikers track um, Jack likes to have it uh, pretty tough he likes to have it in major type of setup and it's no surprise when you look at sort of the top of this list you see a lot of major champions or guys that are fit fit to be major champions uh, because that's that's what it takes to get it done around Mirfield. Um, longer than average uh, certainly isn't going to hurt you this week especially with the generous fairways but uh, you still got to be uh, you got to be tidy with your long irons and then uh, get a few putts to drop here um, Going down the list a little bit, I mean, guys like Stenson, Benny on uh, Kucher, despite his length uh, or lack thereof, uh, always finds success here. And that's because he's not missing any of the fairways, doesn't have to worry about that rough that some of these other guys are going to bring into play off of the tee. Um, Finau uh, obviously has a game that, uh, that fits this track, can't lay as well. Um, you know, and you'll see my model rank here. These guys rate out pretty well in the models. Um, so and that, that gives me confidence in the model this week just based on whole length and comp courses. But, um, yeah, it's, uh, it, it's one of those tracks that you're, you're looking for in-form ball strikers um, and, uh, you know, guys that, uh, guys that can get a little bit hot. It uh, usually has a plus par 
cut line here. And, uh, you know, your average winning score is going to be somewhere around like the 12 to 14 under, uh, 13 to 15 under, something like that. So, uh, you know, it's not uh, it's not a birdie fest. It's it's very much a, a, a difficult test for, for these guys. And it's a big boy track. So uh, you'll see some shorter hitters find success here. Uh, David Lingmurth sticks out as one that's uh, in a previous champion and put together quite a few good finishes here um, at Muirfield. Um, you know, but really you, you do want a little bit more off of the tee, if at all possible. Uh, Duffner won two years ago here, uh, you know, not being much off of the tee, but, uh, was really, really dialed in with his long irons that year. Uh, but for the most part, you, as you start to go down the list, you see guys that, uh, that haven't played well or not found success here. And, um, they are they are Jason Kokrak. You'd think he'd he'd be a better uh, same thing. Rafa Cabrera Bayo. You'd think both of those guys' games would suit them suit this course uh, better. Maybe it just doesn't fit their eye. Uh, not really sure uh, why, but uh, you'd think a guy like Rafa and, and Kokrak would uh, would certainly have put out better performances at a track like this. Xander Schauffele, same thing. Uh, only played here once though, so you kind of give Xander a pass on that one. But so you'd think Xander's game would fit this course really well. Um, but um, guys, this uh, it is it is a big boy track. Uh, look for uh, look for a really strong golf tournament and uh, look for class at the top of the field. Uh, you'll notice that uh, the course history here, uh, you know, the guys that have the, the most consistent or best course history, they are class players for the most part in this list. So, um, you know, scrubs uh, scrubs don't find their way to the top too often here. Uh, but as far as that goes, guys, uh, it's your boy DFS Jimmy uh, signing off this week. Sorry about the, the short video and all, but uh, should be back up and running once to get past this cold. If you're not already a Fanshare Pro member, make sure you get over there and check them out. Uh, FanshareSports.com. DFS Jimmy, best of luck, guys, signing off.